All right, so what, mid-August, something like that. And I read in the Steamboat Pilot today that some guy died at age 45 from a heart attack. And they said it was a genetic condition. And I just think, what kind of genetics would just specifically uh, call for your death at a fairly, somewhat early age for no reason? I get the feeling sometimes that these genetics are uh, established for certain kinds of lifestyles. Like what if this guy gave up milk or something? What if he gave up certain food groups that his ancestors were consuming for a long life and he, he stopped and uh, went on a different path and then that genetic disease kicked in where his, his heart became clogged. But that milk is just an example. I think that a lot of, uh, a lot of people are avoiding ferments because of the danger, botulism, and other problems, possibly, which I have yet to experience. But it's like, well, what if you, your genetics were established to consume a lot of ferments? Because my throat actually got sore the first couple of weeks and then straightened out, got used to it. It wasn't some sore throat consistently up till today. My throat got used to it. My throat got, my throat worked its, my throat established itself when I wasn't consuming uh, ferments. And then it got used to it when I got back into it. And it's kind of like for weightlifting, getting calluses on the hands. When you stop, my, my hands have no calluses. I'm, I feel embarrassed about that. It's an embarrassment to me, but I don't have any other choice. But it's like with lifestyles, genetics. Your genetics are geared for a certain lifestyle from your ancestors many, many years, generations ago. And you change that and you're gonna have certain kinds of problems. I believe ferments, a lot of people step away from ferments, and then they try it, the commercial type, and find it too strong, because that's manufactured commercial uh, standards. If you go for homemade, then you're more on the right track. But I'm just pondering, maybe I'm, maybe I'm off base. Because honestly, I find my heart has been giving me fewer problems after starting on ferments. It's just like more relaxed or something. All right, to Black Mirror. I'll go up a little bit here. Check that out. But I want to look at this a little closer. Some farm equipment up here. Gotta get through the grass. There's kind of a trail that goes on. Not sure what to think of that. Haven't seen one of these things in a while. Surprising that it's lasted. Yeah, with the wood? Maybe it's somewhat new. This must have used to be a field. Mm -mm. Part wood, very old looking. But it looks like it comes somewhat from modern day, the way that pipe is fit. The smaller mountain looks at the bigger one. It is <laughs> easier. It's really neat. <clears throat> All 
Alright, so coming up on this toboggan thing. It's active. They got the sleds. <laughs> it's only like a 15 minute walk up. So this is the old, an old sled slide area. Is this what I saw? Maybe there's something else. Look at that, they got the new one. And then this is an old one. So, but this, well maybe they did take the windy part down. I don't know. But this is definitely out of commission. They even have their broken windows. Oh, I thought it was broke. Yeah, you look right in. Oh, that's new. Outback power. Step into the start. Okay. Yeah. I hear, what's this? I hear electricity being pumped in, cycled through. It says employees only. It looks unlocked, but I don't need to go in. They use an old phone. That's pretty neat. Toilet paper. Where's the bathroom? This is probably it. Do I have one up here? I didn't see. <clears throat> Maybe the old slide is over this way. Right, I think the view is so neat. The city is, the town is built in a valley. Yeah, there's a new slide. And then, oh, did they block it off? The old one is not far from it. What's this stuff all about? You gotta like imagine this being all covered up in snow and stuff. That's just a pipe. I don't see the slide. Such a drop. It's gotta be like around here. There's like no no real access to it the way things look this is the, the new one and then whoa yeah they they seem to have uh, covered up that old one there's just no trail that leads to it they let the woods grow all around it there's a trail that goes down though. Somebody lost their shirt. Okay. So there's a further trail. You have to wrap around. And then this should probably lead to it. Whew. Such a drop. Yeah, there's some evidence. I got a real zigzag. This is so old, it doesn't even look like it's really supported much. Let's get you to that, that old, old slide. Not sure if it's being used. The wood looks kind of new. Oh yeah, this, they done some they done some work. So where's where's the slide? Oh no, it's so steep. I'm kind of oh gotta be careful. Okay. 
So this is it, yeah. This would still be used. It looks fairly new. So this is the secondary. Whoa. Uh, the wood the wood seems to flex a little bit more than I care for yeah I think this is probably for use and good use still pretty neat question and what it would look like if our drone ran down that way but it's like I don't know that I don't want to mess around with the drone uh, close on close ground stuff unless there's a real curiosity to check out like peeking around a corner but to follow the path I don't know I'm not too enthused about it a drone is for the air maybe if I had like a little RC car with a with a camera on top that might be kind of fun but then the grass is in the way anyway all right so that's the end of the jump I got a little lost there's really no clear trail. Alright, this is the end of the uh, the older one. You can't even see the newer one. Oh, what's this up there? It's got hay bales on the end for some reason. What's the deal with that? That's weird. And it gets really steep. And this tower is pretty neat. It's got an overlook on the top. You can see a, you can see a seat. Not sure what all is accessible. Here's a bit of a trail. I'm sure, it's all locked up. Yeah, there's the door. Most likely, it's locked. Some kind of a catch net over here attached to the tree. Oh, oh geez. Okay. Stop. All right, I gotta say I'm a little nervous about walking around this area. I want to check it out though. See if there's any good spots to set up a set up for drone shots. This is, I would say, the rich area. I'm never able to really get a great view from just the bus. Got to get out and walk around. I was a little surprised to see that I had to walk through the shirt and going straight where I did it didn't lead it's a dead end. This might all be part of the shirt and looks like all this this park. I've been seeing people up and down, riding around. Looks like I think they might be having a, or there's like a poster that said there's like mountain bike races or every Wednesday or something. Maybe that's happening here. Yeah, there's a lot of people out, not over here. <laughs> I'm kind of trying to avoid. Alright, so walking to the end of the street turns into a private drive, but I think I could take a right then, Christie Club, owner and guests only, okay, <clears throat> I could take a right 
T-bar parking for 15 each day. <laughs> wow, that would ruin me quick. So this is a possibility going into here and then maybe taking the trails, but tonight they got the mountain bike races, so I guess that's not a possibility tonight to go up here. I would think early in the morning, probably avoid bicyclers.